If you're an architect, you're an engineer, you're a general contractor, or you're someone who needs to draw precisely on the screen, or you're someone who needs to make blueprints and the blueprints need to look nice, then I want to show you a couple tools inside of OneNote. OneNote may not be the program that you're used to using, uh, but it's actually very well adapted for uh, certain types of work. So I wanna show you how I uh, use OneNote and how you can use OneNote to really uh, increase the quality of the drawings that you're doing and add the information without it taking a long time. So let's go ahead and we're going to jump right in. We're using the new unified OneNote. If you wanna figure out how to get your OneNote to look like mine, I have a specific tutorial that I'll link to in the description. Okay, for right now, what you want to be aware of is that we are in the draw tab. That's right here. And we're using basically uh, two or three tools are the primary ones that we're, we're using. So I have the background set up as grid lines. This one right here. You can choose the color. You can make it dark or light. It doesn't matter. There is a ruler that will snap to specific angles. Uh, 45 being a hard snap. So if you need to um, make some lines here, you can do that and have it snap. But I don't actually recommend this as being the best way to do it. Let's do 45 this way. There are faster ways of getting the same job done. However, that is an option. And the ruler is right here. All right, so we are going to undo that. Okay, so here's what I recommend doing. OneNote has a neat little feature where if you draw a shape and then you hold the stylus, you don't move it, the shape will auto complete into a nice looking shape. And then if you don't lift your stylus and you drag, you can adjust the size and dimensions sometimes. Okay, so we have this nice circle, we wanna move it. So we're going to use the selection tool we're going to move it right over here. Let's scale it down a little bit into the corner. All right, that looks good. Now I'm using also another tool. This is the Tablet Pro Studio uh, Radio Menu. Now I'll talk about that a little bit more at the end. But for now, all it's doing is it's just clicking these buttons over here. It's jumping into uh, keyboard shortcuts or different tools without having to take our eyes off of what we're doing. So the shapes that we can draw are fairly robust. So you notice that it, it keeps the corners, the corner angles, and then just makes everything sharp. Okay, you can draw just straight lines, draw a line and then hold. That one was maybe a little too wiggly. Then after you hold, again, you can get it to snap. If the other side is not where you want, you're gonna switch here to the selection tool and you can shorten it. Uh, rotating it is a pain in the butt because it pivots from the middle, so it's better just to draw a new line. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that one. Your goal is to get it to start where you want it to and then you can snap it to wherever else you want. Okay, so this idea I think is fairly easy to understand. Draw a shape, hold the stylus, it will snap and then pull the stylus in or out in order to adjust the size. Okay, that part is all pretty well understood at this point. Now, if you're doing a lot of shapes and lines, you're not doing any freehand stuff, then there's another trick that we can do. So there's an option here for shapes here. So let's say we want to do a bunch of arrows. We're going to check lock drawing mode, and we'll talk about snap to grid right afterwards. All right, so we have Automatic shapes selected, we're going to select our arrow. Keep in mind that every time that we switch tools, we're going to have to redo this. All right, so let's go ahead and erase these. Let's select a different one. Let's do uh, basic shapes, let's do diamonds. Diamond, 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 diamond. 
Okay, so as you can see, now we're gonna to switch to red. Notice red is not a shape. Uh, and switching back to orange will not be a shape either. So all we're doing, every time we do this, this is a one-off, one round of shapes here in order to do that. Now snap to grid, let's choose lock drawing mode. We're gonna choose line. And you can see this jumping around because it wants to snap to one of these points. So we're gonna snap there, same point, same point. And this can be very useful to do uh, a number of different things here. Okay, in addition to shapes, where we can lock the drawing mode, snap to grid, we're gonna look at automatic shapes. So with automatic shapes turned on, that's that white border around the outside. If we draw, if we draw a circle, It'll turn to a circle automatically. You can do not too much as far as really funky shapes, but most of the shapes it will get, and it'll get uh, pretty close and at the right angle. You don't have to hold and wait, just finish and connect the line. And like I said, it does a, a pretty good job. Uh, if you want the ability to do a squiggly line, you can still do a squiggly line. But if you are trying to do text and you say like, hello, you notice that the O has become a perfect circle. So this can screw up handwriting if you're doing something like that. Now we're going to look at adding text. So we're gonna do this two different ways. One, there's a new text pen. This I think is really cool. So we're going to just tap inside the circle. Okay, so we have this text right here. Now, if this text is too small, now if this text is too small, you can draw a line through it, increase the text size here. Uh, however, I would suggest changing it in the home tab so that all of it increases in size. So let's say that's what we want, 44. Now I actually use uh, Calibri 11 all the time, so I would recommend doing that. If you're changing it system-wide, go File, Options, General, you can change the size right here. I'm not gonna change mine here at the moment, but we are going to uh, just go through some of these different spots and we're going to label a few things. Now I'm not going to do anything besides label the, the exact same number the whole time, or pretty much. So now if I type down here, right down here, it's not going to go here, I need to tap first. So let's do tap. And we could write something far more specific. I could say um, uh, remove this section. I know this accidentally went into the wrong spot. So all we're gonna do is we're going to jump to the selection tool and we're just gonna move this up here. Okay, but as you can see already, this is a much faster way of uh, working, of doing a blueprint or a diagram uh, in order to adjust what these buttons do. I'll show you uh, real quickly that process. So we're going to open up this app called Tablet Pro Studio. And here we have OneNote selected. Um, go to tabletpro.com and there's a download link for this program as well as uh, tutorials for how to use it. You can click on beginner quick start welcome video and I would recommend watching that. It's uh, very short and we'll give you, and we'll get you started on how to do these things. In order to customize uh, what these buttons do, you would just click here on Customize. You can watch Edit a Radio button right here or some of these ones to learn how to do that. Uh, it's very simple. All right, so let's jump into the last little bit, which would be inserting longer strings of text. Okay, so we're going to open up something called Voice Access. I'm going to use this right here. This is going to open up Voice Access. I'm a big fan of Voice Access. I think it's a really cool tool. Okay, so we're going to minimize this and then grow it again. Now we can see voice access here at the top. We're gonna to press sleep mode.
we need to make this area really open and bright. Enter. Make sure that the ceilings are lofted. New line. And the doorways are wide enough for bringing in large furniture. Delete. Enter. Copy. Paste. Undo. Delete. Walkways. A large table. Period. Okay, so as you can see, this is a really powerful way to uh, work with your tablet, to take notes, to be able to uh, get the information down that you need down. If this is something that you are interested in learning more about, I can create a course. Just put a comment below and let me know that that's something that you're interested in doing. It would be a shorter course, probably about 30 minutes, that would take you through each of these different steps, but with more detail and a little bit more hand-holding. You know, sometimes this can be a little daunting if you're searching around for different things and I can compile it into one place if there is interest for it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Put those questions in the comment section. And if you are someone who wants to get more done while you're out and about, not when you get back home and you could be relaxing, this is a great channel for you. I'll be teaching also how to write documents in your car while you're driving safely and have the documents end up not just intelligent, but very well written. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.